Good morning, I am Joe from JKEV, and today we're gonna go for a range test. I got the Volkswagen charged up to 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the route right now that we're gonna do. We're gonna, it's perfect weather. It's 71 degrees right now. It should warm up a couple more degrees throughout the drive. As you can see, the car is charged to 100%. It is 70 degrees outside. It's like perfect conditions right now. And there's very little wind. And even if there was any wind, it should be negligible um, to the test because we're doing an out and back route as I'll show you now. So it won't affect our range because if we have the wind behind us one direction, it'll be um, into our face the other direction. Just a few more important settings that we have set up. The car is in eco mode. And for climate control, we have it set to 72 degrees, which as I said, with the outdoor temperature being at 71, we're almost gonna be using no climate. Um, but we wanna be consistent because we'll do the same test in a few months when it's colder out and see how, how the car um, is affected by the cold weather. Hello, so I just wanna give some quick background uh, on our methodology behind this video. There are many people that have done the 70 mile per hour range testing. And uh, from our encounters and actual real world road tripping, we find that more of the time we're doing 75 or 80 miles an hour, especially as we're going through Nebraska, Wyoming, Utah, all those have much higher speed limits than 70 miles per hour. So we thought it might be beneficial to see what the actual range of the ID4 would be under 75 mile per hour conditions. Uh, we wanted to use this as a good test to set the bar for the vehicle. Uh, a little bit about the vehicle, we have a first edition for those who have not seen our channel before. Um, the first edition is very similar to a Pro S with the grading package, so it has the 20 inch rims. Um, the EPA range is 250 miles. It's the same 82 kilowatt hour uh, pack with 77 kilowatt hours usable, um, usable energy. And we've proven through our road trips, it's just a very good road trip machine, especially with how well it charges. Um, be sure to comment below if you'd like us, what other tests you'd like us to do with the vehicle. If you'd like us to do a DC fast charge or um, storage capacity testing, towing testing, let us know what uh, we'd like to see us do. Thanks. Now back to the video. check-in we are just past halfway the car's doing great uh, about 2.8 miles per kilowatt right now so that uh, extrapolates out to about a 215 mile range so we'll see if we can achieve that the on the whole trip uh, incredibly comfortable as always we've been using travel assist the whole way we've had to set it to 76 miles an hour to get it to go 75 miles an hour we've been using Waze 
uh, the Waze app to check the speed to make sure that we're holding 75 as much as possible. Um, a couple times a truck has, you know, when a truck is pulled out in front of us or something like that, we've had to slow down to like 70. I'll go, you know, 78 for a few minutes or 80 to uh, try to even it back out so we get to the net average of 75 miles an hour. Uh, there was a one mile drive we had to do at the very beginning of the trip to get to the highway, so that's pretty negligible as far as uh, around town affecting our total range. And we've been uh, trying to purposely avoid uh, following semis so we don't use any of their draft. We want this to be a complete control test uh, of how the vehicle does on open roads. Now would be an awesome time. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Also be sure to check out some of our road trip videos. We have a uh, 4,500 mile road trip to Vegas and Lake Tahoe from Chicago, as well as we have a 5,000 mile road trip uh, out to Montana from Chicago. Kind of went th down through Colorado. It's quite a quite an epic adventure. So be sure to check those out and like and subscribe. changes from green to yellow. We are now down to 10%. Pretty soon this uh, yellow light should change to red once it registers that it's just below 10%. It'll then start showing the actual percentage remaining uh, to the left side of the miles, miles remaining. Uh, it wouldn't be a proper range test without range anxiety, so we have 17 miles to go till our destination and only 20 mi 21 miles on the gasometer. so uh, stay tuned if we make it. As I mentioned, now it will display the percentage remaining. I wish it would just show this all the time, but uh, hopefully in a future update. So now it says 10% remaining, and it gives a warning to please charge your car immediately. home with 2% battery left and we traveled 212 miles. The guessometer said there was six miles left of possible range. So therefore we can estimate somewhere between 215 to 218 miles. I think a safe estimate is to say 216 miles is what the vehicle will do at 75 miles per hour. Pretty good. And the vehicle managed a very impressive 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour over the course of this test.